What up, family? Get on the support of Mary Dash and Mary Lee. Today is Thursday, Thursday in my city of Chicago, May 5th, 2022. So they say Cinco de Mayo, Mayo, Mayo Day. For all you alcoholics, drunks, and winos out there, you might want to listen to Chris Stapleton song, uh, Tennessee Whiskey, and try to get over your drinking, drugging, and whatever else you're doing and stuff. Why don't you try thinking about something other than a drink. $600 million they say they were spending on alcohol for Cinco de Mayo Day. Now, I'm going to try to be as humble as possible because I know there's other people out here besides haters, you understand what I'm saying, that love listening to your girl, Marilyn Dash 20 Mary Lee, you'll get a new support and originate a real rap music. So for you all, I'm going to try to be as humble as possible even though I want to cuss and fuss for real. You understand what I'm saying? Long story short, I Google Seagull do Mayo Day, which is the day, like I say, May 5th to see what was going on. Maybe I missed it last year some kind of way, or it didn't resonate or stick to my spirit. But if you know me, I was uh, born May 25th, 1967. I have a birthday coming up on the 25th of this month. Uh, I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate, and they know that to be so since I've been at this trap building since May 31st, 2017. But on May 8th of 2016, I was at an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting called the Mustard Seed that is open to the public. It's supposed to be uh, anonymous, but they have since put a big poster in front on the bill on the building, you know, advertising. You understand what I'm saying? Which means there should be more and more people getting sober, right? Hmm. I don't think so, because if they were, their attitudes would be changing and they wouldn't be harassing me every time I go outside because why? They probably at happy hour right now on Devon and Clark. At Dino's Bar and Grill, or whatever it's called, with my, uh, the year I was born, 1967, on the bar, Dino's Bar, on Devon and Clark, where I got railroaded May 31st, 2008, allegedly pulled over for tinted windows, on my way to a gospel fest, mind you, but they upgraded it to Disarming a police officer, something I did not do. Long story short, the only thing I grabbed was they nuts to let them know I got you by the balls, motherfucker. Sorry, I'm losing it a little bit. At least I ain't killing nobody like they tried to do to me in uh, 2016. Like I say, the day after Mother's Day. Mother's Day was on May 8th. And again, what goes around comes around. Mother's Day is on May 8th of this year, 2022. So you see, what you doing to me, gonna happen to you. Whatever happened to me, whatever they do to me, they gonna do to you all and stuff. For the ones who don't believe. See, it's the color and it's the hair. But we all alike. We all been raped one way or another. Mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, emotionally, whatever the case. Me especially. Because I was in the Chicago Sometimes newspaper at the age of six in 1973. Because of rapists, inform, informers, intruders, uh, trolls, and thieves, whoremongers, and murderers and stuff. I just so happened to survive. I stood up for myself, like I said, at the age of six in 1973 and somehow got from under all that oppression. But they thought they could, you know, uh, work me like a Hebrew slave. You understand what I'm saying? Once they found out that I could write. Mind you, I never finished grammar school or went to high school, but I somewhat write like a genius or at least well enough for you to understand what I'm trying to convey to you. And that's whatever happens to me happens to you because it's always on to the next one with the so-called oppressors and stuff. We have no friends, especially if you were something. Remember that. That's the ones they pick out, the ones that they know that they could benefit all off of. And if they, you know, they start off by, you know, oh, 
ab abusing you and then trying to make it seem like they're your savior and then, you know, giving you a few goddamn passes and stuff and pats on the back. And then next thing you know, they work you like a Hebrew slave and then you build up your confidence to the point where you think, you know, they like you and, you know, you like them. And then next thing you know, they crush your fucking goddamn skull, nigga, pretty much and kill you and take everything that you worth after you done worked your ass off trying to prove that you are somebody, if not American. You understand what I'm saying? I never bite the hand that feeds you. Spanish people and stuff, Cat Williams try to tell you all, you know, y'all have Mexico or whatever and stuff. And, you know, we need some place too, like America, because it is our shit, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And they railroad him and stuff. You understand? Real, it's just real. It's crazy, man. Look, a uh, Afro-Hispanic guy, you understand what I'm saying? Help the Mexicans with the stringy hair that look like white people and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Get up out some shit with some other country. It might have been France. I don't know. Google it, motherfucker. And the United States helped the Hispanics and stuff. They turned around. And killed the man that helped them. You understand what I'm saying? Because he turned around and started helping his people. You understand what I'm saying? And they were scared that, you know, they would outdo them. Now, you got to remember the significance of dates. Because war broke out on May 9th in 1862, they say, with some stringy hair foreigner. You understand what I'm saying? And I got poison. And injected with cancer on May 9th of 2016. Like I said, for being at a uh, AA meeting on May 8th, which was Mother's Day of 2016. And then the police, quote unquote, the police had me sleeping on the floor on May 8th of 2016. Because, you know, I said, excuse me, ma'am, my name is Mary Lee Davis. They was filling out the report, calling it trespassing and all that. You know, how you going to trespass at an AA meeting? It's open to the public and they advertise. Okay, real fucking talk. Long story short, they had me sleeping on the floor on Mother's Day in 2016, May 8th. No, no um, sink, no toilet, no little bed, no nothing. Just a hole in the floor with people shit and piss at. That's how much they appreciated my fucking help. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. After I gave and gave and gave and gave and gave. So I couldn't give no more of myself. My service. My people who followed me. Who um, was influenced by me. Who believed in me. My Mary McAmyers. Whatever they do to me. They gonna do to you. And you new Africans that's coming over here, whatever they did to America, now they over in Africa. But y'all feeling like y'all didn't came up. And so y'all over here shitting on me, acting like I don't know what time it is. I'm just laughing at you motherfuckers and shit for real. Because I know whatever they do to me, they going to do to you. And y'all going to have to fight with y'all scary ass. All y'all had to do was stand the fuck up and shit. You was too busy worried about me. A girl. Imagine that. You understand what I'm saying? It took everybody, motherfucker. For real. To um, come up and stuff. You should have stood up for anybody. But if anybody. You should have stood up for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? In 2008. But no. Y'all thought Obama was y'all savior. If he was your savior. Why when, when I was in. You know. Lock up. Prison or whatever and stuff. They come and ask me. If he was going to make it. If he was y'all savior. I know you don't believe shit. Believe god damn it. May 31st. Black Wall Street. Right. You understand what I'm saying? When colored people was coming up, they got jealous and stuff, and they bombed us. You understand what I'm saying? That was the first time, right, that, you know, America was attacked. And then 9-11, you understand what I'm saying? The Twin Towers. Oh, that was just, what, some foreigners. You don't think that was designed? I wrote, whom can I blame the day after 9-11 happened? In 2001, I did it on 9 12 of 2001, and in Rogers Park, where I got railroading, where I did all my little service work, I took it to a courtesy exchange. And I had them, you know, make copies or whatever and stuff, and I gave it to people, or whatever and stuff, because I blame the government. I sure do. They're always the reason behind the attacks and murders and the 
you know, this, that, and the third. Now, when George Bush uh, knew that, you know, something was happening, maybe he heard about me waking up or something, he called on the Hispanics. They weren't trying to build a wall. They was trying to tear it down so they can come over here and take over like they've been taking over. Usually they say Cinco de Mayo, Mayo Day happens in California. Now they in Chicago, Illinois is trying to take over. One city at a time. We're taking over one city at a time. Do y'all not listen? And because you don't listen or you don't believe, that's why we're in a shitty situation and I'm in this trap building with motherfuckers who just hoping I die. Maybe because they suicidal. I don't know. I won, nigga. Hey, if I don't get nothing else out the deal, at least I know why I'm dying. You understand what I'm saying? And for you motherfuckers that set me up to get me in here, and you riding around in my motherfucking vehicles and spending my money when everybody could have been a billionaire, oh, when them goddamn real motherfuckers come to get y'all, they ain't going to be talking. So, real Mary McAmire, shh, don't say nothing. For real. Just do it like the Nike commercial. Because it is all based around me and my determination. We are not supposed to be suffering. We are not supposed to be uh, 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 waiting for a motherfucker to give us shit. Like Sarah Sutton said, he say, you don't ask nobody for your shit. You take it. You understand what I'm saying? But then what happened? O.J. Simpson tried to take his trophy back. What they do? Lock him up. Stop allowing these motherfuckers to throw your real motherfuckers under the bus. Because they want to play games with our lives. You understand what I'm saying? Play the game back on them. So Hispanics, you want to be us? Go to work. I was at the Dollar Tree trying to support the Dollar Tree. One Hispanic lady with stringy hair. I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and the rest came for people like you. So I could talk like this. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I don't give a fuck what they think. Long story short, she had a, a box cutter in her hand. Opening up boxes and stuff, right? And I'm looking at some chips or whatever because, you know, they done poisoned me six times. And uh, they tried to kill me on a psych ward at the Cook County Jail in my city, Chicago. You understand what I'm saying? The day I was supposed to go to court, they put enough drugs in my system or in my um, in my food to kill a horse. But it, because the spirit came over me, told me not to eat that shit. They used to spit in my food on the Cook County Jail, all kind of shit. You understand what I'm saying? They um, gave me cancer for six months and shit, was trying to get me to turn up and all that. And because I wouldn't, they had to let me go. And that's how I'm able to tell you what happened and stuff. Real fucking talk. But I know if they catch me again, they're going to kill me. And I want y'all to turn all the way up. That's what I want you to do by any means necessary. Now, the girl came with the, with the box, the Hispanic or whatever, cutting it and stuff, right? And so, you know, I started walking away. She started walking behind me. They trying to antagonize me, trying to provoke me, trying to get me to turn up. They was always hating, jealous. After all that, trying to make them family and all that, they was always hating. Tupac said, let's get along with the Mexicans. There'll be peace on the set again. I believe he was scared, but I also believe he knew I would figure it out. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. You understand what I'm saying? And if he did die, I believe they had something to do with it. That's what I believe. And if he ain't dead, I believe he... Hooked up with them to try to get me one way or the other. Because it's called Rogers Park, R Pack. Take the R off, you got Pac. Okay? They're going to send me there. You understand what I'm saying? Now, until I see Tupac, he's dead. You understand what I'm saying? But I don't believe it. But if he is, they got a clone out there that I did see. You understand what I'm saying? And it wasn't Tupac. And that's when I had that, that store at the mall. Clark Mall that they turned into a school on Chase and Clark. Real fucking talk. They cloning niggas with, with motherfuckers who ain't shit, who ain't put no work in. Real fucking talk and look like a motherfucker that supposed to be original. I know the originals from the fake. Can you hear me? Let's break these balls and see what happened. They finesse me out this six ball some kind of way. At this trap building, I'm at 6210 South Kenbark Avenue, Chicago, North 60637 with the white dope. I don't know where it's at, so I replaced it with this little orange ball and stuff. So, you know, 
These are the games bitches play for real. We're real motherfuckers. I don't know why y'all didn't stand up. So these bitches in here, I don't know what they do for their respect. But I'll die knowing the truth for mine. And I ain't changing my mind, nigga. This is the number two. It's blue. It takes two to make a thing go right, motherfucker. Real fucking talk. Me and my higher power or me and Tupac. Now, y'all claim y'all love Tupac. You understand what I'm saying? But Tupac was a revolutionary. And revolution is bloody. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. And the coronavirus, think about it. It's a drink. Corona virus. Okay? Or me and my mother. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. There's one thing about guys. They hate losing the girls. But this ain't a competition. This is a legacy. And everybody could have been a billionaire. Remember that. When you're broke and a slave, motherfucker. All right. This is chapter six. This is on page 912. If you're gambling, I need my money. You can see, bitch. You see the six and the seven? Huh? Can you hear me? Don't shit on me and say it's raining. Where my real players at? I never lose. Now you can kill me, bitch. Motherfucker. Nine twelve. St. Luke. Chapter 6 and 7. Ain't even no writing on this motherfucker. Huh? Black and white. That motherfucking goddamn Dino Bar was red, white, and blue on Devon and Clark. They changed the color to black and white. But the year 1967 is still up there. Okay? That's where they railroaded me. May 31st, 2008 on Devon and Clark. I told him in 1995. I said, I believe... All my pictures are turning from color to black and white. You understand what I'm saying? So for all you sellouts, it's more color people than it is black and white. But not only that, I'm a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And the rest came from people like you. And with that, this will get a news reporter, Mary Dash 20, Mary Lee. Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I like cursing in Spanish. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, I love you. Hey, what is it? Te amos or day amos? Te amos. Te amos. Uh, let me see. But the hickle, 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 something you might not like. Uh, Buta Maricon. Uh, uh, what's, what's, what's something else? This is what I learned from Danielle Meliguli. She tried to teach me Spanish, but my people taught them. You understand what I'm saying? But they don't think we know and shit. Um, uh, Besamacula. I think that means kiss my fucking ass. Peace. <laughs>